Hello everyone. Today we will study introduction to Fourier series. This is my lecture number one. As we know, Fourier series has many applications in engineering, science, and technology. <coughs> it is a valuable tool in the investigation of periodic phenomena. It has many applications in communication engineering, signal processing, image processing, time invariant system, solving problems in partial differential equation like study of heat conduction problems, string problems, wave equation, solving Laplace equation. It has applications in mechanics, electrostatic, spectral analysis, and so many fields. So there is a major difference in Taylor series and Fourier series. Taylor series expansion is valid only for functions which are continuous, while Fourier series is possible not only for continuous functions, but for periodic functions, functions with discontinuities in their values as well as with their derivatives. Fourier series once constructed for one period is valid for all values. Fourier series is infinite series representation of periodic function in terms of trigonometric sine and cosine function. So we'll see what are the conditions required to have a Fourier series of a function. Let us consider function fx. We assume that fx is its fx and its integrals are finite and single valued in the interval. fx has discontinuities in finite number in the interval and fx has maxima and minima finite in number in the interval. These three conditions are called as Dirichlet conditions. Now we will see what is Fourier series of function and under which condition Fourier series exists. If we consider function fx which is defined in the interval c less than or equal to x less than or equal to c plus 2l. It is periodic function with period 2l and it satisfies Dirichlet conditions. Then it can be expressed as a Fourier series which is given by we are talking about Fourier series with period t is equal to 2l and interval we have considered as c less than or equal to x less than or equal to c plus 2l. So in this case we can express fx in the form of infinite series which is given by a0 by 2 plus sigma n is from 1 to infinity an cos of n pi x by l plus bn sin of n pi x by l where formula for a0 is 1 by l integration c to c plus 2l of fx dx. an is 1 by l integration c to c plus 2l of fx into cos of n pi x by l dx where n is from 1, 2, 3 and so on up to n and bn is 1 by l integration c to c plus 2l fx into sin of n pi x by l where n is 1, 2, 3 and so on. So if we consider in result A with C as minus L, then we get interval as minus L to plus L. And Fourier series for E1 function, we say that function is said to be E1 if f of minus x is equal to fx. So it is given by fx is equal to a0 by 2 plus sigma a n cos of n pi x by l where n varies from 1 to infinity. One to infinity. In this case, b n is 0. And we have a 0 is 1 by l integration minus l to plus l f x dx. As we know, f is even function by using property of definite integral. This integration will be 2 by l 0 to l f x dx. On similar way, since f is even function and 
cos of n pi x is also even function. Product of two even functions is even function. So a n general formula is one by l integration minus l to plus l f x cos of n pi x dx. So as f is even, cos is even, product of two even functions is even. So integrand is even by using property of definite integral. Value of a n will be two by l integration zero to l f x cos of n pi x dx where n is 1 2 3 and so on so when we take period 2l and c is minus l and function is odd function then in this case we have a0 is 0 as well as an is also 0 and fourier series is given by sigma bn sin of n pi x by l where n varies from 1 to infinity and on similar way, we can have formula for Bn, which is 1 by L, integration minus L to plus L, fx, sin of n pi x by L, dx, where n is from 1 to 3 and so on. Since f is odd, sin is also odd function, product of two odd functions is odd. Therefore, value of this integral by using property of definite integral is 2 by L, integration 0 to L fx into sine of n pi x by L dx, where n is from 1 to infinity. Half range Fourier cosine series. That is the next result. We consider here interval as 0 less than x less than L. In this case, when we are finding cosine series, Bn is 0 and fx is a0 by 2 plus sigma an cos of n pi x by L where value of a0 is given by 2 by l, just now we have seen integration 0 to l fx dx and a g a n is 2 by l integration 0 to l fx cos of n pi x dx where n is from 1 to infinity. When we want Fourier sine series, we have formula with the interval 0 less than x less than l. In this case, value of a0 is 0, value of a n is also 0, and fx is bn sine of n pi x by l, where n is from 1 to infinity. And formula for bn will be 2 by l integration 0 to pi fx sine of n pi x dx, where n is from 1, 2, 3, and so on. Now, in all these cases a to e, you take L is equal to pi and you get a similar result just now you have to substitute where there is L you have to substitute as pi and then you will get all other results means Fourier series for the interval minus pi to plus pi as well as C to C plus 2 pi. So let us try for that and with this I wish you all the best and thanking you.